Hi, welcome to Ride Alongside. So today we're taking a look at the Sendero by Chumba USA. It's a steel hardtail made in the USA. So let's take a look. All right, so I have uh, set up a initial first look video of the Sendero last year and uh, I put up a full long-term review of this bike um, on ridealongside.com but it's uh, changed in its configuration a few times uh, not in uh, very major ways uh, I guess it has in some major ways since the review but uh, I figured I'd give you guys a look at this and this is just kind of a raw video. I'm shooting it up here at about 7,000 feet. This is West Spruce. It's a very uh, rocky, um, just kind of raw trail out here in the Prescott National Forest. It is west of Prescott, Arizona. And I'm uh, taking the Sendero up here and really just need a second to breathe. I've been doing a lot of hike a bike up this trail and uh, yeah, I'm out of breath. It is a cold and blustery morning down that way is Skull Valley and uh, Will Hoyt. And uh, that is a, a nice overlook, but it is super windy up here. And I just found a spot in the sun to take a minute, show you guys what the Sendero looks like um, and the configuration I have it as in October of 2021. So uh, to start with the uh, frame, is the uh, Chumba Sendero, uh, it's size large. It's made in Austin, Texas. They got the ATX decal down there at the bottom bracket. Uh, let's see, we got White Industries uh, headset and bottom bracket. So there you go, White Industries USA. And uh, it's a blue bottom bracket down there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the fork is the 2021 Fox 34 Grip 2. And I decided to go with the Grip 2 because it had a little bit more adjustability with the high and low speed compression and high and low speed rebound adjustments. And I really like that. As a single speeder, I think I would have went with the Fit 4 to be honest. This Grip 2 is really plush and really nice. But I think it's uh, probably overkill for most of my riding. I would probably appreciate the Fit 4 with the full lockout. This doesn't uh, quite lock out even with the low speed compression all the way um, wound um, tight. So uh, let's see here. Um, from there, I guess we can go to the wheels. They are Industry 9 Hydra hubs on the Astral serpentine rims and i just put up a review of the astral serpentines um on youtube uh not very long ago uh, i really like them there is one thing i didn't like so much and uh you can see that in the video but there's a clue for you right there if you haven't seen that already um so let's see going to uh, I guess from the wheels, we got to go to uh, the rubber and I've got Maxxis tires front and rear, but the one up front is an Ardent 29 by 2.4 XO tubeless ready. Just uh, the dual compound, not the, not the 3C, but the Ardent race in the back is a 29 by 2.35. So pretty similar in width, but this one is the 3C compound max speed uh, X, XO and tubeless ready. So it also, it, both of them are XO2 this ready. This one's got the 3C max speed, which means that the center knobs here are extra hard and uh, long lasting, which is nice. Um, they don't give as good of grip as the Max Terra um, tires, like the Minions I was running before. Um, but anyway, they're good tires. Um, from there, I guess we could go to the Hope brakes. Uh, those haven't changed throughout the time I've had the bike. They are the X2 calipers with the Tech 3 uh, levers. So we got those there. I guess sticking with the cockpit now, uh, I can show you these are the ESI uh, plush grips from ESI Silicone. 
and I got the right along side sticker there. Let me know if you want one of those, I can hook you up. Uh, I've still got the Advent X shifter on here. I gotta change out these grips. They're totally worn. You can actually see it right there. There's a little bump up right here. This, this part's thicker. Anyway, I just noticed that this is all worn down right in here. Oh, and I've got the Odyssey BMX um, caps on here and those have been great they've really prevented the esi grips from getting uh torn up on the on the sides you can kind of see the grip being worn there there's a few little indents but uh they do wear down over time so let's see we got the thompson uh stem there. It's a 35 mil stem these are the um spank uh spike 35 vibracore bars so they have foam on the inside we got a timber uh mtb bell right here you can turn it on and off i have a, a video on this it's called uh what's it called uh 25 dollars of kindness i think is what i called that it's a great great item here and uh clears the trail for you up ahead of you so that's great and it's totally silent when um when it doesn't hit your stem totally silent when uh it's off then over here i've got another usa made product this is the paul uh dropper lever and i uh, absolutely love it it's in the polished uh colorway so uh, i love that uh shout out to uh both esi and tasco mtb uh, nate over at tasco has some great products uh, including some great gloves these ones are the dawn patrol gloves they've got some polar fleece on the backing uh the back of the hand the back of the fingers the back of the thumb and i've used these for four years now and they're going great i love them uh, i keep my hands nice and warm but the palms are just like normal gloves so you've got good dexterity and all that i got my my garmin instinct watch here record in my route for me uh i think that's it for the cockpit all right so um, moving down we got some thai king cages here highly recommend king cages also made in the u.s awesome product uh we've got a wolf tooth um seat post clamp right there that's a great one i love it uh one up dropper post i think that's the v1 post uh, I can't remember. I've had it for so long and it, it keeps working really well. I've only had to add air to it one time. And then we got the WTB Volt uh, Chromoly railed gel saddle. Uh, really like this saddle, but it is wearing out on me, uh, I think, a little bit. So I might be asking for one of those for Christmas. If you guys want to buy me a WTB Volt saddle, I wouldn't be opposed to it. You hit me up at ridealongside at gmail.com. I'll give you my address. You can send me one of those. Um, but yeah, it's getting worn out. It's my favorite seat yet I've had for mountain biking, to be honest. So I'll get one for yourself too. Um, let's see. So uh, moving down the frame, we've got, uh, I already mentioned the bottom bracket by White Industries. We've got a Shimano XT uh, crank set. It's a one by with another wolf tooth product. This one is the drop stop power uh track chain ring it's made in the u.s as you can see it says right on there and it's a 32 tooth oval so there's where it says the 32 tooth right there if my camera will focus and uh love that chain ring it's been great and i love shimano system for attaching the chain ring that is wonderful as well because there's a shimano xt pd 8020 pedals these are getting a little bit worn out but um still great still great great pedals all right uh the kmc uh s1 uh, sl chain i believe it is that's the one with the the holes in it but uh love that chain man is it durable it's a uh, a great chain never uh comes off or anything it's just glued on in fact on the cog back here it's actually you have to pick it up and take it off it doesn't just roll off the chain it's it's a great technology that they've got there these are the paragon paragon machine works uh sliding dropouts and i'm a huge fan of those i recommend getting a couple extra bolts though i've stripped mine out um vincent chumba sent me some new ones but uh yeah you can uh this is actually i forgot to uh put on the 
uh, drop out without the derailleur hanger so it's hanging there vulnerable and I wish it wasn't there while I have single speed but this is the uh, um, Endless Bike Co. Um, this is a 21 tooth uh, cog. I don't know if you can see that it says 21 tooth there but uh, let's see it's in the shade somewhere I'm trying to find it. Anyway it's a great cog. I like it. Made in the US as well and what else? That's it I think. So that's the Chumba Sendero. I love it. Best bike I've ever had. Um, it's great for all kinds of stuff. It's a cross country rig, but I'd say it's closer to a trail bike than many cross country rigs are. And it's super comfortable, super strong. Um, I don't know, I can't say anything uh, bad about it. Uh, go check out my review. I've got lots of uh, reasons why I love this bike and um, why I decided to buy it uh, after the review. Um, I uh, I think that there's a lot of um, kind of balance that you've got to find when you're looking for a hardtail to kind of do everything. It's going to do some things well, some things not so well, and you have to compromise somewhere. Uh, actually, all bikes are that way. Whether you're a downhill bike, cross country, trail bike, enduro bike, whatever it is, full suspension, uh, hardtail, rigid, whatever. Uh, they're all a compromise. So uh, go feel free to read my review. I'll try to remember to post a link in the, pro in the description of this video so that you guys can click on that and go check it out. Anyway, that's my raw video one take. I'm Nick from Ride Alongside. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you mind doing that? I'd appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything but it benefits me a whole bunch. So I really appreciate that. Also give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video. You can go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you hate the way I did this video, but leave me a comment, let me know how I can improve. Well again, I'm Nick from Right Alongside. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have more videos for you real soon.